This is Joel Salgo for eArchitect. I'm here with Dr. Moses Ling to comment on sustainability issues regarding Herzog and de Muron's completion of the Perez Art Museum. It is the first completed structure of a number of structures transforming downtown Miami. Dr. Chimay Numba, head of Penn State's Department of Architectural Engineering, describes Dr. Ling as a leading proponent of sustainable design in construction education. Sustainability is a major issue in Miami. As a general rule, the weather between May and October has temperatures in the mid 80s to low 90s Fahrenheit, that's 29 to 35 degrees centigrade, and the humidity can be intense. Dr. Ling comments on several sustainability issues related to the Perez Art Museum of Miami. Yeah, I, I think the, the museum is, um, has addressed some climatic concerns. Um, the fact that there's a huge overhang over the, over the building itself, the, the, um, the public spaces that is now under shade, those are good things. And um, the, the place where we, we had discussed earlier about this building is, ha has it taken maximum uh, put, uh, opportunities that is, that is presented to it by having this shading device that is created. And the one point that I, I wanted to point out was, at the center of the building, the roof of the top floor is the roof of the building still. This, this canopy extends beyond the perimeter of the building. So, if we took this canopy and put it on top of the building, it would be like putting an umbrella over the person and the entire person would be in shape. Versus having one of those visor type golf visor things and your head is sticking up above or your head is still being impacted by the sun and that's where the missed opportunity I feel is um, now looking at the picture it looks like it that's the case that the roof of the top floor is still exposed to the sun if we were able to shade that roof then the, the, the uh, what the canopy does can be extended to uh, the entire building right now we're still sticking the head up above the visor now you were saying something about uh, the desirability of massive mass transit uh, uh, being there for uh, uh, people visiting the museum? Yeah, I think part of what we need to consider in sustainability is the um, how the people get to and f from the space. And if we all have to j jump into vehicles and drive ourselves, moving three, 4,000 uh, pounds of metal just to move a 150 pound person, it's not the most efficient way to do it. Mass transit uh, allows us to, to uh, more optimally uh, transport people. So the fact that we have mass transit uh, is definitely a good thing.